Dear child, the truth remains that God still reigns on the throne. The more you focus your mind on him, the more you realize he is pulling you out of this situation. So, remember, God remains on the throne. Be blessed and encouraged. Just as this video if you believe in God. To tell people they'll go to hell if they don't repent is true, but it's not the gospel. Even telling people they need to live a holy life to obtain salvation restricts God's provision and denies grace. Thus, it's not the gospel. These are radical affirmations as most churches don't usually define the gospel this way. However, this is how Paul defined it, the gospel is the power of God for salvation. The power we need to be saved and to receive all that Jesus has given us is in the gospel. If we seem powerless to receive it, it's because we don't have a complete revelation of the true gospel. Declare with all your heart, thank you, Lord, that I am free from condemnation as a child of God, according to Romans 8. I break every lie attempting to condemn or accuse me in the name of Jesus. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. The spirit of life has set me free. I am free in my mind, my spirit, my body. I walk in his grace, receiving his promises, his goodness, and his love in my life. I break the weight, the lies, and the obstacles of condemnation in my life in the name of Jesus. I command condemnation to leave in Jesus' name. I break all religious mindset and its lies in my life and boldly declare that I am blessed. Amen. Today, God is telling you, I will do something unexpected. Your health will suddenly improve, doors will suddenly open, the right person will suddenly appear. You've been through fire and flood. Now, prepare for abundance. Your enemies are being defeated. I nullify all forces opposing my financial prosperity. I am rescued from the curse of poverty. I am liberated from oppression. Now, I ask of God, and everything rightfully mine comes to me perfectly under grace. Share this video if you desire God's blessings. How many times have we been in the midst of a storm and started with our focus on Jesus, but got distracted by what was happening around us? Everything he does in our lives is to divert our eyes from Jesus. Every conflict, every irritation in your relationships, every pain in your body is designed to prevent you from living in the supernatural realm where you find your deliverance, healing, and prosperity. It's time to contemplate the Lamb of God and keep your eyes fixed on Him. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. God has offered us the same promise to enter his restful kingdom with competent faith. Therefore, we must be extremely careful to ensure that we all embrace the fullness of that promise and experience it. We heard the good news of liberation just like them but they didn't connect their faith to the word or activate its power. Instead, what they heard didn't deeply affect them because they doubted. For those of us who believe, activating faith in the promise and experiencing the kingdom of confident rest, I write, I believe. If you believe in God, God says, I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. Today, 
God wants you to understand that He has already gone before you to straighten your paths. Sometimes we can get caught up thinking we'll always be influenced by the negative decisions we've made in the past. But that's not the case. When God puts you on the path leading to His divine plans, your life becomes a living testimony that when you trust in God, He makes all things new. Be blessed. Right I receive to claim it. When Christ is with you, no matter who or what is against you, he can make the impossible happen in your life. The enemy may send attacks, storms, fear, doubts, and temptations your way, but none of that will bring you down when you know who's on your side, the creator of heaven and earth. Nothing will come your way that he can't help you overcome. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Share this video if you believe in God. My soul waits only upon God because my expectation comes from Him. Don't let the day pass with a heart full of frustration but with expectation. Sometimes we may feel frustrated with the current situation. But walking in frustration is not God's desire for us. His promises will surely come to pass, and in perfect timing, we can be sure of it. There's no doubt about it. Therefore, God wants us to live in expectation, knowing that He's about to bless us with His promised plans of goodness. Be blessed and encouraged. Right, Jesus Christ is Lord. If you love Jesus, there will be moments when we face overwhelming challenges in life that make us wonder if we can keep going. In those moments, we may even question if our relationship with Jesus is genuine enough to sustain us. However, as faithful followers of Christ, our answer is definitely yes. We'll never lack what's necessary to persevere because our Lord and Savior will always be close. Cast all your cares upon Him because He cares for us. Our God deeply cares about what concerns us, and His care goes far beyond what we can see or measure. This is a true reality we can rely on. Right, glory to God. Those who are truly born of God won't feel comfortable with habitual sin that persists for a prolonged period. Born-again believers can't sin without thinking. Cheer up and keep going, it's not in vain. Right, I love God to express your love for God. The roar of a lion can be heard up to 8 kilometers away. It roars to announce its presence in the atmosphere. Similarly, those who profess Jesus Christ must realize that when they are hidden in Christ, they are hidden in a lion, carrying the authentic roar of the Lord that resonates. You will know that He is God, the Sovereign of the nations and the earth. Don't let your worries dominate your thoughts because in those moments, God doesn't appear as God, but as your worries. Release everything God says to him and trust that he will make all things come together for your good. Right, I believe if you believe in the Lord Jesus. It's written that his word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Today, remember that when you act according to God's word, he will act according to his word. When we obey, we experience success. We are exalted and blessed. Eternally, we are secure in his arms, regardless of circumstances. So, no matter the situation, let God's word guide your actions and illuminate your path. 
be blessed and encouraged. So be it, the psalmist affirmed that surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Today, remember that God's promises for your life go far beyond the blessings you ask for. His kindness and mercy will never leave you, they will follow you all the days of your life. So, don't let your current problems deceive or discourage you. God's kindness is about to manifest and change everything in your favor. Feel blessed and encouraged. Right, I have faith. Our words have significant and lasting power. Sometimes, they can be like a hammer causing damage when used recklessly. We must be aware of the impact of our words and use them to build instead of destroying. Avoid apologizing by saying you didn't mean something because our words affect everyone around us. Speak less, listen more, and think before speaking. Ask yourself how your words can encourage, challenge, and edify the people around you, especially those you love. Write help me, God if you need God's help to control your words. Sometimes, we go through tough times and face great losses in life. This is part of growth, change, and development. We must realize that there's no growth without change, and change often involves loss, pain, and suffering. In times of pain, it's common to seek an explanation for suffering, but explanations often don't provide comfort. What we truly need is God's presence and comfort. We shouldn't obsess over seeking explanations, but trust in God, knowing He is with us in our pain and suffering. Right God is with me all the time to express your confidence in His constant presence in your life. In this moment of prayer, we direct our thoughts for the needy, the sick, and those facing difficulties. We ask you to comfort those who suffer, restore health to the sick, and instill hope in discouraged hearts. We ask for your restorative presence in the lives of those going through adverse times. We acknowledge that your light still shines even in the darkest situations. Heavenly Father, bless families worldwide, strengthening the bonds between parents and children, siblings, granting parents wisdom to guide their children with love and patience, and giving children discernment to honor and respect those who have gone before them. May love and compassion permeate all homes, forming the basis of healthy communities and vibrant societies. Lord, we look to the nations and plead for peace. Though the world faces immense challenges, we believe that in you, we find the source of true reconciliation. Inspire leaders at all levels to choose the path that honors your name and serves the common good. May our actions and words reflect your light being beacons of hope and compassion in a world often marked by darkness. As we face personal challenges, doubts, and fears, strengthen our faith so that we may trust in you even when we don't fully understand your plans for us. Let us walk by faith, not by sight, trusting that your grace is sufficient to sustain us in all circumstances. Through this prayer, we express our gratitude for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. His redeeming love has freed us from sin and reconciled us to you. We humbly accept this gift of grace, recognizing that no merit of our own can guarantee our salvation. 
Heavenly Father, this is the cry of our hearts. We ask it in faith, knowing that you are capable of doing much more than we ask or imagine. May your will be done in our lives, and may we live for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. If this message has impacted you in any way, please leave your like and subscribe to the channel so that we can continue together in faith. Click on this video, and God will continue speaking to you. Amen.